Hello, welcome to Lori's DIY Life. This is Lori. So I wasn't real sure what I was going to do video on today. And I thought, okay, I've got this whole pile of dyes that I haven't even touched yet. And I thought, let me go ahead and just reach in and grab one. And so this is what I grabbed. So I'm just looking at this card here and just really going to repeat this i'm going to give a little bit of different and you'll see that in a minute but um so i chose the yellow and these are all nine by nines that i got from crafters companion and different kits and stuff and we kind of went through some of them yesterday so this is going to be the, the base here what goes on here and then i'm going to use this for the background and then i'm going to cut it one more time and just kind of cut the fairy little guy and put another layer there of the fairy that's my plan anyways for right now so let me get this paper in a six by six and I'm gonna wanna do it a little shy short Just because that's what I like to do. I don't like it hanging over the edge. And I don't mind a little bit of white edge. To me, I'd rather have a little bit of white edge than I would um, than I would have the um, over it going over the edge, you know. So where did I put that? There it is. So here's, this is going to go in here, and I'm just checking the size first, and really it fits perfect, it's, so I usually like it a little bit smaller than this, but it's fitting perfect, I'm going to just leave it like it is, and glue it down. And this die, oh, look what I did. It's the Create a Card Moon and Stars die. One thing about this glue is I can move it around a little bit. So just get it lined up as best. As you can, and that did not go so great, did it? I got glue on the back of this. Shoot. I was hoping to be able to put this card in the swap, but if that won't rub off, then I'm not doing that because it wouldn't be right, would it? Okay. So I'll leave it for the video, but if I can't get it off, I can't put it in the swap. And this glue, this is one thing about this glue is it definitely must have quite a bit of water because it definitely shows on the paper unless I can get it down better and get that to stick better to where it doesn't show I don't know but you know it was Dollar Tree it's Aileen's which used to be considered a really good brand um, and now it's a Dollar Tree I don't know blows me away sometimes so it's stuff you know <laughs> Wait, who used to have all the alien commercials one of the shows and I just don't remember which one it was so this pattern I don't know if you can see it in there it's 
It's got some leaves and stuff in it. I think it'll be pretty for the background. I just wanted to go a little bit more, dress it up a little bit more than theirs is, and I'm hoping that using the light purple pattern paper will dress it up a little bit. We will find out right now. So it's got the outer dye in the inner die now. I believe, yeah, if I just use this inner die, it's only gonna cut out. It's not going to um, cut the whole thing. You know what I mean? All you're gonna get is these. So it would cut into your card. So if, if I wanted to put it on here, then the pattern would come out of there and it would leave the rest. So I need my plates. And because my plates are big enough to hold my paper, at least I believe they are, I am going to put it straight on the paper. Or just put it, I'm not cutting it. You know what I mean? I'm not cutting my paper down because this is going to come right out. I don't have to worry about having the size or anything. So I don't feel like I'm wasting paper this way. Actually, it seems to me like it would be less wasteful to do it this way. I need to go over a little bit. Sorry about this video being so late. It did post one kind of late yesterday, so I'm hoping that it makes up for this one being late. I just had quite a bit of phone calls I needed to make this morning, so I was doing that, taking care of business, and came in here as soon as I had the opportunity to. These all, I gotta take all my mats and things and just wash, wash them down. Okay, let me see how well it did cut. Okay, it looks like everything cut out just fine. tape off very carefully and people used to complain that this tape was too harsh that it stuck too well and would tear it up but I really haven't had that much trouble with it so I just do try to be careful though because of that I kind of do take extra care with it and I use it over and over again course no reason to be I had a whole bunch of it and I don't know really what happened to it all oh, but I did have a whole bunch of it okay here's this and we got to get all our little bits out And big bits out. <laughs> I didn't 
come out on their own. I hope this isn't too light. Did I get everything it looks like? Looks like I got it all. Okay. So now I'm going to take this, get rid of this. And I'm just going to put this on the card. Whoops, I like that. Oh, doesn't quite fit six by six. So what do we do with that? Do we go with another mat or do we just leave it you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna corner it over here I know you never see anybody do that right and I sometimes just like to take things in my own direction I, I, I like to try to think outside the box a little bit sometimes and I would just do things in my own way and I just that's just me so this is gonna go in the corner and that's basically you know it's not as big as I should have checked but I just assumed because it was square that it was gonna fit and I guess that's why they say you don't assume anything right always verify but I think I can still make it look right and I'll tell you why because man we can put anything we want to on that other side right so and I'm just dotting now in places just to get it down to stay down just giving it some dots sometimes the dots hit sometimes they don't I want the fairy to stay down fairly good And these ends, right? I wanna, I wanna get that on my cutting plate, though. Okay. So I'm gonna come over to this corner, and put it down here. So, I mean, I guess if you want to, something else you could do is put it in one of these other corners where it closes and then trim it if, if you ever find yourself doing that. Just to give yourself a little I just got something that didn't stick down very well and I just I'm 
gonna stick them down. And I just can't believe I missed so much of it. <sighs> I'll just give it a little bit to hold it down. See the star? I didn't get nothing on yet. I'm trying to get my. You probably need to check better than I did that you got. Those dots on there better. Okay. There's just some spots that need mark glue. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm not gonna worry about the outer edge now because that's not what I'm cutting now. I just wanna get the fairy out of this. And I hope this works out okay. It's already different, right? Because the card's already to the side. So we'll see how it turns out, hopefully. You know, sometimes we have to make adjustments to what we think is gonna work. And what isn't going to work. And a lot of us are very good at that. Some of us not so much. But some of us, yes. Okay. So now I want to come in here. And I'm really not worried about the whole thing. I really just want the little. Fairy guy. So I'm just going to snip him. And to get him out, I'm going to snip big at first. And I'll come back in and trim it. But right now, I don't want to trim it too short. So, I just want to get him off of here so I can hold him at a better, I'm saying him because with the hair, it looks like him. So, I'm just going to come in now that I can hold and see better. And I'm going to trim away these little spots. So. Gosh, I was just sitting here wondering, I wonder if this would be considered Dick Posh. I wasn't thinking that way. I was just thinking of getting the fairy to stand out a little bit better, but maybe it is. It's like the sun is coming in right through the window and blinding me. Just want to make it look as smooth as I possibly can.
and then make sure all the little pieces are out. And glue that. And I might kind of leave the wings up a little bit. Just because. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to leave the wings up a little bit. I'm not gluing them down. I don't know if you can hear that background or not. It's just escape. When my sister visited me over Easter, she got me to wear. Every once in a while, if I'm flicking by and it's a new one or whatever, I'll turn it on and leave it on. And then if you don't know what the disc scape is, so it's this channel and there's a scene of some kind and different things will happen in the scene. That's off. You just kind of look for what's going to happen. So. So before I came in here, really the only thing I'd seen was birds fly across the sky and and then I don't know what else is happening because I came in here to do my video. Okay, now you could put ribbon. You could tie ribbon there. I'm thinking of... Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I brought in three of my drops. First one is... You know what, I'm going to do that vintage drop first. Because it's not a shimmer, you know, it's a, more of a doll. And this color is purple basil. And so what I'm going to do is just kind of go down the um, center of this right here and put some drops in. Oh. Now remember... When you use the drops, that that then wait means you have to wait. Oh, I didn't do this straight. I should have put some things so I could keep it straight, and I didn't. Okay, so that means you gotta wait 24 hours before, or you should at least wait. Try to wait at least 24 hours before you um, put it in an envelope or anything. You want to give them plenty of time to dry. This is a crystal drop and it's sweet lilac. sure how I like this yet uh, maybe if I had it lined up better but it's not that's not the way I kind of envisioned it I guess I figured I'd save that for the sentiment but it doesn't have to be. We can go that way. And then this is Dream Drops, which are always my favorite. And this is Fairy Wings. Always, always does Dream Drops. Are just 
so beautiful. Oh, that's what I should have done. It's just done all dream drops. I'm not really worried about if it was going to go or not. I just kind of found what matched. So, hmm. Now we could go that way or we could put the scent. You know what? I think I'm going to go this way. It's just going to be kind of a frame. I sure love my new world stuff. I just love new world. Okay, so that's the fairy. Here's the vintage. I'll do this next. Right here. If I had thought I was going to do that, I would have left this and made the corner with them. I didn't realize that I was going to be doing this on this. I was going to leave that for the sentiment, but I don't know. Maybe I should have. <laughs> it's looking like a bit much. Which I tend to do sometimes. I should have spaced them farther apart, then it might not have looked so busy. Oh no, my bird's going with the birds on the dish scape. Uh. All right. See, they make it look like it's gonna fit, but I should, you know, all you gotta do is read 4.9 by 4.9, and I would've known, I guess what, that's too big. But you know, huh. Okay, so my little wings will stick up. My little fairy, does he stand out very much? I can't see from there very good, let me see. Yeah, he does. If I had done these more spaced out and used something to make sure I stayed straight in the lines, it might have looked better. But that's all right. Okay, so we did it. We used moon and stars. I mean, if you just do the way they did it, how simple was that? Right? How simple was it to just do the yellow and then come in and put this on and then, you know, dream a little sentiment on there and you're done? And it would have been really pretty. Let's see? In the right size. But I wasn't paying attention. I mean, sometimes just a little too much is going on, but anyways, and then never do something so busy like that. What was I thinking? Oh my goodness, I'll tell you what. <sighs> okay. I know, it's not Mixed Media Monday, but you know what I'm gonna do? I need some scrap paper. I'm just gonna scrape it off. Is this that? No, this is... I'm just going to scrape it off under here.
scrape it off and maybe it'll leave a nice finish on here. scraped off too much I shouldn't have scraped off so much I should have had a lighter touch Oops. let me try it with a lighter touch here But tell you what, those fairy wings with that iridescence does something to it. Okay, who knows? We'll see how it dries, how it looks. Not working on the card, but it would have been, might have been kind of cool if I hadn't taken too much off. Like here, that's kind of rough looking but you know what it kind of tones it down but then leaves stuff at the same time this is gonna have to be cleaned away now I got wipes let's see if the wipes will do it oh well Uh, I could come back in. I could do a rip, do some ribbon, but I don't know how would I do ribbon on both sides of it now. But since I went and did both sides of it, well, I could cut it. And that's another thing. Don't think that you can't use this now. I go well around it. Now it's no good. That's not true. I'm going to save that and see what that turns out to look like it might be a background um, because you can I'll just show you I just do it real quick by hand without the paper cutter just line up along the paper And use the top paper as your guide to stay straight. And of course, you ought to cut here like you did there and cut that edge off and cut this little edge off and now I still have my design right so now I can say okay I'll just make it a little card and I'll just take a six by six or five by seven or whatever and I just put it here and cut it and that will be the size of my little card and you may have to make your own envelope for it but it'll probably fit kind of nice on a Five by seven. Look. See? You could do this. You could put it on the bottom. Put a little pattern paper here. Maybe not this pattern, but. And then stick the sentiment there. Right? So just because I messed it up doesn't mean now it's no good. 
I just have to rethink it, right? I made this, but I'm not happy with the way it turned out. It's it's not what it needs to be. I used a 5 by 7 card base that I already had, and I, I did, um, I scored a half on this side and a half inch on this side, and I put some pockets in for the collection of the background and the flowers. The pockets are tight. So I got the cards in, but I didn't get the envelopes in. So I still think the half inch and half inch will still work because there's room. But the pockets, I need to give it more room because what I really need to do is put the cards on one side and see they still fit. No, they don't. Well, no, they don't. It's too thick. It's just too thick for that pocket. But I need the cards on one side and the envelope on the other side. Even if I break it back down, what you will see is there's five of them. So this one, I'm sorry, but I'm not getting envelopes in there. Not going to happen. It's too tight. I will show you these real quick because I, I did do two more. Maybe it was two more. So this was the one with the kind of funky background and... I said a sentiment it needs to go either here or here, or both. You can put something else along the top. These are all four, um, yeah, four by six. So there's that one, and then there's this one. I think I showed that one, I think, when I did it. It's on the video. And I did this one. This one is not on a video. This is with the real heavy textured stuff. And then, of course, you saw this one, and I believe you saw this one. I thought there was two that you didn't see. Maybe these two were the ones you didn't. Maybe this one and this one you didn't see. Either way, anyways. That's the collection, and that's going to go in a swap. So I just have to make a new folder with bigger pockets. <laughs> so, but I still got them kind of in here because I think it's kind of a good protection for them. But see, the envelope doesn't, won't match up that way. <laughs> but yeah, that's, I mean, it did when I had a half and half. But I didn't have room for envelopes, and you got to give envelopes, right? You can't just... Here, here's some cards. Of course, there's no way for you to send them because you don't have an envelope. All right, that's it for this video. Gosh, I don't know what's up with me today. I am in some kind of goofy mood or something. I don't know, but... If you like my video, please hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for joining me. And I hope you'll join me again. Bye-bye now.